Uh, my name is Brad Bennett. I'm uh, from South African Airways. I live in Johannesburg, South Africa. I fly the uh, Airbus 340 and Airbus 330 uh, aircraft at South African Airways. Um, I've been there for about 12 years. I uh, am fortunate enough as a first officer to be a, a pilot instructor on the aircraft as well. Um, I've got 14,000 hours. I've been flying since I was 16, so that would be giving away my age. But uh, that's 24 years or 25 years. Um, and uh, I fly, uh, I've been fortunate enough to uh, com be able to compete in aerobatics for uh, about the last 15 years. And um, I fly at air shows as well uh, on the extra 300 aircraft. So uh, it was an absolute pri privilege to, uh, to come here. My, my uh, idea about receiving this kind of instruction after having quite a lot of aerobatic experience, uh, I had no reservations about receiving this kind of instruction. I thought I would uh, put myself into the shoes of a, pa a person who hasn't got any aerobatic training, who hasn't been in uh, many instances of unusual attitudes and try and uh, imagine what it would be like for them. So that's the way I approach this program and that's been be very beneficial um, because it's helped me to realize that uh, there's a lot more to unusual attitude uh, recovery and emergency maneuver training than what I ever imagined. Um, I think the train the trainer program was absolutely uh, uh, necessary as well. Uh, you know, to be able to fly the extra 300 first, uh, to have access to this tremendous wealth of knowledge from the uh, instructors that are providing the service, and um, the facilities here have just been uh, incredible. Uh, to 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 be able to, in four days or five days, um, sap everything I could from the resources that was available was an unbelievable opportunity, and uh, I'll certainly use that going forward. Um, as far as uh, after the course, you know, to be able to instruct um, on the loss of control in flight prevention and recovery techniques, I feel I'm very well equipped to be able to do that now. Um, I realize that there's a lot more to it than what I expected. Uh, I have read a, a lot on the subject, but uh, I know now that th this course is absolutely essential to developing a good fundamental understanding of what's involved in the loss of control and recovery, uh, especially the techniques. Um, as far as, uh, you, you know, linking up the, ex flying the actual aircraft uh, to then taking your methodology and understanding and applied in, applying it in a simulator, that I found very uh, interesting and I sincerely feel that you have to uh, go and experience unusual attitude recovery and, and the uh, syllabus um, that uh, APS provides is it, it's just phenomenal and covers everything. And that uh, made me very well equipped to be able to uh, put that into practice in the simulator. Uh, I feel now that I can uh, take this back to my home base and as an instructor uh, develop something that uh, is going to be extremely beneficial to pilots in the future and aid in uh, uh, improving safety uh, in, our, in our country and uh, particularly in the African continent which hasn't enjoyed too much uh, safety over the past few years. The staff at APS are amazing, they're enthusiastic. In fact, uh, I've never met such enthusiasm, I've never seen such enthusiasm for uh, this, for, for flying and for uh, trying to put something back into aviation that's going to make a difference. Uh, the quality of the service has been great, uh, absolutely 100%. Uh, the uh, resources that I now have available to myself uh, when I do go home, uh, are absolutely essential. So I'd like to thank everybody at APS and I'd like to recommend that anybody that has the opportunity to do this, who thinks they know anything about unusual attitudes, come and try this out and uh, see for yourself. There's, uh, there's a wealth of knowledge to learn and APS can provide it. And I think